Welcome, Pastor Alex here. I wanted to make a short video for you, the Pastor Search Committee, to help you figure out who I am. We both know that the hardest part of the search process is, of course, finding a pastor who is biblically sound in their doctrine, but also is a good fit for the church and the community. Beyond what a resume can tell you about a pastor, I pray that this video helps you to get a better picture of who I am as a person and as a pastor. I was born in Owensboro, Kentucky, but I didn't spend a whole lot of time here as my family moved around a lot. The number is somewhere around 16 to 20 right now. I spent my early years in Beaumont, Texas, and then my junior year and high school years were in Traverse City, Michigan. So please don't ask me if it's pop or soda or cola, because yes, it's all of those. <laughs> My parents got divorced when I was 13, and between the ages of 13 and 18, when I was saved, I didn't have a real strong faith base. While I had told people I was a Christian because I had the intellectual knowledge of Jesus and of the Bible, my life didn't demonstrate it. When I was 18, though, after I had graduated high school, I moved back to Kentucky from Traverse City, Michigan to live with my dad. I was saved, and then I started going to college at Kentucky Wesleyan College because I wanted to learn more. I had this hunger and thirst for the righteousness that I needed to do something. Well, unfortunately, college is expensive. It was about $20,000 for just the first year, and I didn't want to be in a lot of student debt. So I joined the United States Air Force to help pay for college. I was in the military from 2008 to 2017. For the first chunk of my time, I was what is called an emergency manager. So I dealt with natural disasters, but also man-made disasters, including chemicals and biological weapons such as anthrax and sarin and VX. While I was in the military, I was able to earn two associate's degrees. The first one I earned was in emergency management, and the second was in human resource management, which I earned in the second part of my career where I served as a recruiter for three years. I was also able to earn a bachelor's degree. It was a bachelor's degree of science in religion and a minor in biblical studies through Liberty University's online program. After I had earned my bachelor's degree, I left the military and I joined the reserve component. So instead of working every day, I did the one week in a month and two weeks out of the year. I spent a year on unemployment and I couldn't really get a job even though I thought I was all that in a bag of chips. See, I had four years military experience, I had a degree, I should have been good. This was a very humbling experience and it taught me a lot. And this is when I joined the recruiter program. For the next three years, I was a recruiter with high school students as my primary focus, but then also on active duty members who were leaving the service. I was trying to help them build a plan so that they weren't just leaving out of emotional distress, anger, frustration, that sort of stuff. While I was a recruiter, I was able to earn my master's degree in divinity through the Liberty Baptist Theological Seminary program. It was focusing on pastoral ministries. After I left the military in 2017 with my freshly minted MDiv degree, my family and I moved back to Owensboro, Kentucky. I did a few odd and end jobs here and there, worked with my dad when he was hurt, did some restaurant jobs, just something to kind of get me going. But my calling was always towards ministry. And that's why I'm here today, looking and praying for God's guidance into the ministry. I do have some ministry experience for two years. I was a youth pastor at Cross Point Christian Church. I was a volunteer at Brushy Fork Baptist Church here in Owensboro, where I helped the pastor with services, doing the videoing of the sermons, hospital visits, and volunteering for fundraisers and many other areas. From January of 2019 till this April, so Psalm Palm Sunday, I was a fill-in pastor at First Baptist Church in Boonville. 
Currently, they are looking for an interim pastor, and they let me know that they're having other ministers come. So I'm no longer needed there. But my calling has always been towards the ministry. This is where my heart is. Many people have told me I'm called into ministry, pastors, mentors, and friends. Even my family has confirmed this calling into my life. I'm also a married man. I've been married for 10 years, and after 10 years of wonderful marriage, the only thing I can tell you is that even after 10 years, my wife still puts up with me. <laughs> Out of the three children in the home, I'm probably the biggest one, my wife would say. We have two children, my son Isaiah and my daughter Ava. They're relatively young, one's in kindergarten and one's just in the second grade. I'm not what most people consider a typical pastor, as I ride Harley-Davidson motorcycles. I'm also in the motorcycle ministry Soldiers for Christ here in Owensboro, Kentucky. It's a national ministry in which we minister to motorcycle club members, whether they're considered to be outlaws or hardcore bikers. We minister to them because these men would not step foot inside a church. And so we bring the church to them. We also minister to the community around us, whether it's homeless members and we partner with shelters, whether it's people who are drug addicts and they need recovery and we partner with different ministries that focus on recovery, or whether it's just people who are down and out on the luck and we can provide them a meal or fellowship with them. It's like Matthew 25. We go to where the people are hurting to provide their physical needs, but also their spiritual needs. I also have some tattoos. I know some churches are not in favor of this, but none of my tattoos can be visible when I'm wearing clothing. I have praying hands, I have the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, and I have the Christian fish with the Greek ichthos written in it, which is fish. And then I have the words Iesos Christos Theo Uyosotir, which is the Greek transliteration of Jesus Christ, God, Son, Savior. And then in tribute to the military, I have a bald eagle with American flag, and I have a personal tattoo on my chest, which is just my wedding date for my wife. Most people consider me to be very upbeat and happy, and I think it's because there's a saying that is, life is too short to be serious. But I'm just happy because I am blessed. I hope this little video has helped you get to understand who I am as a person beyond what a one-page resume can get, give you. And I want to let you know and encourage you that while the search process can seem long and daunting, both for the pastoral candidate who often feels in the dark about what is going on, but also for the search committee who is feeling the pressure from the pastor candidates, the congregation, maybe elders and deacons. I want to encourage you to remain pray prayerful and vigilant in your search. Seek first His will and everything else will follow. May God continue to bless your search.